Okay, okay. What is good? Look, before we get started with this video, I want to tell you, brothers, man, happy Father's Day to all you kings out there handling your business, being the best version of yourself. But look, don't let these women and these kids trick you into barbecuing your own food. It's your day. Go sit back and enjoy it. I'll tell them, bring you to the restaurant like they bring Big Shirley in there, man. So salute to you guys, man. We're gonna get into this video. So we have a brother from the UK named Stefan. Man, I'm gonna call you Stefan or Cal if you know who that is. So what he's saying is, look, Ron, I want to travel to the Dominican Republic, but my country has uh, issued a travel advisory and um, they're saying that it's not safe. What do you think about this? No. In February the 1st of this year, United States issued the same thing. They're saying that, you know, Dominican Republic is very dangerous right now. There's on robberies, sexual assaults and homicides. And some of these things could be true. So, um, but I wouldn't let things stop me from going anywhere because as a person that's on the island i'm on the island man 65 percent of the time just lately because of my uh stuff with my parents i've been flying back to the states and i'm gonna tell you something man i don't know about your country but the states is 10 times worse maybe even more than that man when i touch down the united states and i'm gonna answer your question but i'm just saying when i touched down the united states man i couldn't believe how how much crime had risen in these last few years man so when america catches a cold the rest of the world catch a flu because how it's set up you know america is the world's leader so when we start doing bad and ever since you know i'm not a republican or a democrat but ever since biden been in there he's definitely been one of the worst presidents things have gone down in all the cities everywhere man things are going crazy so I think that has a ripple effect on the whole world. That's just my my thing. But I myself, and I always speak in these videos about my own experiences because I haven't had any problems in Dominican Republic. And I've been in Santiago, Santo Domingo, Puerto Plata, Sosua, uh, La Vega, Boca Chica. Just, I've never had problems, but I'm coming from a background where I grew up in the hood and I'm used to, I'm, I already know how to watch myself. And a lot of men, especially from the United States, we come out to Minnesota cities, man, we go over there. We don't really have as much problems as maybe somebody from Canada who didn't come up like that. Or, or even the UK. I don't really know about the UK, but you can be safe by doing a few things. And I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll go through what I think. So first thing, man, you need to research and plan before your trip, man. Look at the local customs, the laws, uh, and know where your embassy's at in case something happened, man. Always have a plan before you go anywhere. You know, you just don't go jump on the bull, man. Have a have a a plan, man. Next thing, man, choose where you stay at wisely. This is very important. The neighborhoods, you know. I recommend that City Central, you know, especially Piantini, or if you're going to stay in Zona Colonia, yeah, these two areas are very safe, man, and they're very nice. They're going to be nicer than you think, man, because, you know, in the West has a tendency to look down on places, and they'll have you thinking Africa's messed up. They'll have you thinking that Dominican Republic and all these places are just, like I say, shithole countries with nothing to offer because I had this in my head before I first landed in Santo Domingo. I'm thinking I'm about to I'm about to go to a big project. And I was like, you know, I was feeling like you probably feeling right now. I was I wasn't really scared, but I'm like, man, what am I getting myself into? Because the dudes I'm supposed to go with, they at the last minute, they don't come. So I'm by myself. And when I get to the country, First, boy, you hit that airport. Good Lord. I saw all those beautiful women. When I hit, I saw some of the most beautiful women I had ever saw in my life. And then getting in the Uber, going into the city, 
seeing how beautiful it was, man, I, I couldn't believe how pretty Zona Colonial was and how pretty the city central was. And I was like, you know what? I should have been came here. I, I saw that America sometimes puts out propaganda, man. Um, and I'm speaking from America. I don't know your place. America don't want us going nowhere. They want us to sit right there and work and labor till you die. You are a, co a cog in the wheel. And then somebody else takes your place. That's how this stuff go, man. So with this Uber thing, too, this is another thing, man. Choose your choose your transportation while I use Uber or if you're going to use a taxi, man, make sure it's a licensed taxi, man. You can get in some situations. But this this is something you're going to run into, too. I've only run, ran into it a couple of times. They mostly happen at the airport. What a Uber driver will do, especially if he's the only one there, he will take your uh, take your ride. Right. Then he'll sit there. Then he's going to start messaging you. He's going to say, hey, man, um, we need to negotiate. You know, Uber don't pay me that much. What I do with, to, to avoid this, either you can cancel it or you're going to wait a little while. You can go in the cab. But I just tell him, look, man, I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to give you a tip. Don't worry about it. It's good. And from then on, you, you won't have any problem because once you meet a good Uber driver, get their WhatsApp number. That's what I started doing, getting these guys WhatsApp numbers. And like, look, I'm here, you know, whatever. And I know a lot of chicks now in Santo Domingo. So you will find most of the chicks that you're going to meet, they're going to have cars and stuff like, you know, this one, you know, vetted them and you found somebody that you really trust. But on your first ride, man, make sure you get into a a good cab, licensed cab or Uber. And a good thing about Uber, too, I like they track you on your phone. One time we went we went a different route because of the traffic or Uber contact me. They want to know. I'm gonna make sure I was safe. So that's a, a good thing, man. Here's another thing. Another thing, man. When you when you come into the country, man, first thing you do, I'm gonna call this money and valuables. Only carry the essentials that item that you're gonna need, man. You need to go to your hotel or Airbnb, put that jury in the safe, put that passport, keep a copy of your passport in case you need it. Um and you lock everything up only carry around with you the amount of money you need for that day that's what you're gonna do only carry that amount of money with you man i made a video like this a while back about safety in the Dominican public man but the audio was trash i was just starting on youtube i didn't know what the hell i was doing next thing man another one be cautious of all your personal information man avoid sharing you know personal details with anybody especially strangers man because people come out hey my friend my friend my friend and this is about your where you're staying at man your travel plans man any of your financial information man watch what you're doing because some people are very smooth man next thing man stay connected you know and this is to your family your friends um let them know where you're going what's where you're what's happening and you can even if you want you know if you stand at airbnb you can give the the person whose place you're staying in your family information in case something happened to you or whatever and not saying it will but you know that's what you can do and another thing man with this that's why i recommend joining like these travel groups like you know the blue book cartel or the passport bros or the black men options or different things you could do i think flip-flop at paradise like man it's good to know people because now you're connected who's on the island who's there you know it's it's a good thing to be in these groups because somebody if you're in all the groups somebody's gonna be there you have somebody you can link up with man you know you got to vet them a little bit too but most of the guys i have met from being in the groups man have been wonderful guys i wish i knew it when i first came to the island but now man I see people all over, man. I was in La Vega a couple of weeks ago. I'm in a restaurant in the middle of nowhere, and I see a dude that's in the group with me. Me and him sitting there eating, and it was it was good. So that's a thing that'll keep you safe, man. Knowing other people around, it's going to make you feel good, man. Another thing, man, dress down a little bit. Dr dress modest. Don't be out there trying to floss on people, man. I just have on a T-shirt. And some shorts or some pants, and I just stay. I dress down. I don't want unwanted attention. I just don't want it. I don't want too many eyes on me. 
even when I'm in, I'm in the club, man, I'm very low key. They think I'm a Dominican. Um, I don't say too much. And that's speaking the same, man. Learn basic Spanish as you can, man. But pay yourself first, man. Put these things like learn a little bit of the, the language. It will help you. I didn't do that. And I'm telling you, that's a tip I'm going to tell you, man. Learn some basic Spanish. I don't know when you're coming, but learn these basic things, man. Stay out of these high crime areas, man. Because I remember uh, I met a chick on Dominican Cupid, man. The little chick was, she was, she was fine. She wanted me to come to her house. When she told me where she lived, then I looked it up. I'm like, hell no, you can come meet me. So I talked to her to come and meet me. And when she came, I had already had talked to the front desk guy. And this is what you do, man. I go to him and I say, look, dude, I got a chick coming. I don't know her. I don't know what she's about. Um, you get her ID, get everything. I give him a couple of dollars. He said, yeah, I mean, when, and when she came there, he called me down. He talked to her like he was the cops, got all her information. And I didn't have any problem. And she was a cool chick. I'm actually friends with her to this day, man. And, you know, one of the last things, man, you need to worry about. This is in, in uh, closing, man, is make sure you trust your instinct. And just like I just tell you about, she wanted me to come to the house. I'm like, oh, no, hell no. You know, trust your instinct. If you feel something seems risky, don't do it. Remove it. Get away from it. You know, your safety is the priority, man. And if you do these things, man, you'll be cool, man. Stay in that city central, man. Don't go out there. Don't be flashy, man. Uh, especially in them nightclubs, man. You've been in nightclubs popping bottles and all that and cutting up. If you got a bunch of dudes with you, all right. But it's just you out by yourself, man. Just stay low key, man. Just stay low key. And you will be fine, man. Respect the culture, man. You know, Dominicans are very good people, man. You got good and bad in every group. But I have mostly, man, mostly met just solid people. You know, people want you to have bad experience. You know, people contact me all the time. say, man, you're not talking about the bad, man. You're not talking about... I'm like, I haven't had bad happen to me. Thank God. And this is now in a couple of years. I haven't had bad situations because I know how to kind of move, man. And then once you find some solid friends, man, and solid Dominicans, they will put you on, man. Like part of the reason I'm with the woman I'm with now, man, she just really put me and she taught me a lot about her culture what to do what not to do she said, oh don't do that don't spend she watched my money she tell them man if if, uh, if i slip up and speak english and somebody think that they can raise up oh man she go to hell off man so she's so as you come you're gonna find these connections man because i'm telling you, dominicans are warm and welcoming they're good people man they work hard with little things they got i thought i was from the hood so i saw some of the hoods in the dr they got some hoods man but the people or they don't walk around with a victim mentality, man. They walk around, we just trying to do the best that we can. And I'm telling you, man, just so just respect the people, man. Respect the culture, respect yourself. And you will be fine, man, as, as, as always, man. Before you come, man, we can have a conversation. You can call me, man, send me your WhatsApp. Now I'll send it to my email. And dude, we can chop it up, man. And I'll, I'll tell you some things, man. So we out, man. Thank you, guys. Hold on, I got one more thing I forgot. Because you're not going to be used to this. I'm thinking about you coming to the UK. I done got so used to the motor control thing in the DR. But that's one of the main things you got to worry about, man. With the, those, those cell phones have got so many people in trouble. And I know you're trying to film and all that. But just make sure, man, you're walking around with a $1,600, $1,700 phone. And you're not really paying attention. The motor control will come by and just grab your phone and keep going man i saw this happen to a guy one time i was walking on the melicon and he has his phone out of the window and the guy on the motor control just grabbing and kept going but that was his fault so here's the thing man you do have to avoid petty crimes and stuff but be careful man be careful with those phones man what i do when i am uh trying to do a thing i watch how i film you know even when i'm filming i'm paying attention to wherever i'm at because i have cameras and all this stuff or i use my phone sometimes but i'm very careful man be careful with those phones man just wanted to add that but you'll be safe like i said the million people are very 
kind, welcome, very welcoming. Just make sure that you do it, man. Got a video about to come out about Santiago. It's a story time. It's very good, man. And we out.